there, it's Rose. Thanks for joining us for Family Storytime. Today we're going to be reading some books about a fun game that you and your family probably play. It's called Hide and Seek. Are you familiar? Have you played it before? Have you been it? Have you counted? Well, the characters in our books have, and we're about to read. So let's start. And here's our first story. Every bunny count. Look at that. That bunny must be it. <laughs> Fox and bunnies like to play all together every day. Playing hide and seek today. Every bunny count. Okay, count with me now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's start. Take your places, everyone. Ready or not, here we come. Look at all those bunnies. Some are wearing some party hats. Oh, they're having fun. But I think they're looking for someone. The search for fox has just begun. So every bunny, count to one. There's one badger. Hmm. We found some birds. Away they flew. Every bunny, count to two. One bird, two birds. We've spotted something in the tree. Every bunny, count to three. One, two, three. And look, tiny creatures in my paw. Every bunny, count to four. One, two, three, and four. Check the water, in we dive. Every bunny, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Five ducks. And look, who's hiding under the sticks? Everybody, count to six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six bucks. Look, carrots. We're in bunny heaven. Every bunny, count to seven. Let's see how many carrots they have. There's one for this one. One, 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 one. Look at all those carrots. But where's that fox? It's getting late. Every bunny count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that fox can be found. Now that it's late, there's sleeping bunnies in the line. Every bunny count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There's nine bunnies. Through a bush, behind some rocks, every bunny look. What are they gonna find? Hmm, could it be? It's Fox. There he is, hiding behind a tree. But, oh look, is that another fox? Hmm. Now take a peek inside the den. Every bunny count. To ten. Oh look, all the little fox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten. Foxes, bunnies, one, two, ten. Look at them all having fun together, dancing. Now, let's play hide and seek again. And look, the foxes are it this time. <laughs> well, that's a pretty fun story about some of these creatures playing their hide and seek game. I'm so glad that bunnies found the fox in the end. Well, maybe we have some creatures here at the library that like to play hide and seek. Do you often visit our aquarium? Have you seen one little friendly creature that goes up and down and up and down? Well, I think Miss Tara will tell you more about it in the Aquarium Corner. Hi everyone, it's Tara here. I guess I wasn't hiding too well because you were able to find me here at the aquarium. How about we learn about a creature that likes to hide as well? 
This is the yellowhead jawfish. Usually found in the Western Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean, these fish have a pale yellow head and a pearly, light blue body. Some also have small black spots on their chin. In the wild, these fish like to inhabit sand and pebble-covered ridges and slopes, preferably near coral reefs. Yellowhead jawfish like to dig in the sand, forming burrows which they then fortify with rocks, pebbles, and shells. They remove excess sand from their burrow by scooping it into their mouth and spitting the sand in the area outside their home. They spend the majority of their time working on their burrow, constantly repositioning materials and collecting more to add to the area around the entry. A jawfish never strays too far from home and can often be seen poking the top half of its body in and out of the burrow, where it can quickly hide from predators if it needs to. When it feels threatened, a jawfish will hide in its burrow and completely cover the opening. It later re-emerges when it feels the coast is clear. Their diet consists mostly of zooplankton, which are small microscopic organisms found in the water. Yellowhead jawfish are usually around 4 to 5 inches in size and generally live for about 5 years. Thanks for visiting me today. Now let's head back to Rose to hear another hide and seek story. In our next book, we're gonna be reading about some friends that are playing another game, but they're mostly looking for that bear. Where can he be? Well, this book is titled, Where is Bear? Who wants to play hide and seek? Everyone hide, but Bunny, don't peek with eyes shut tight so she can't see. Bunny comes out, one, two, three. Look, they all run. Fox sneaks behind a fallen log and oops, she almost sat on a frog. And where's Turtle? It's hard to tell if that's a stone or a turtle shell. Can Chipmunk fit behind that twig? I don't think so. She's a bit too big. Oh, she's been found. And look, Skunk digs out a great big hole and hides behind a friendly mole. Ant and Beetle slip behind the big black shining wings of Crow. Ladybug flies across the lake to hide beneath a rock with Snake. Now all are found, except for Bear. Hmm, no one sees him anywhere. Do you see him? Hmm, where is that Bear? Beetle asks, where can Bear be? We've got to find Bear instantly. Frog leaps on a pile of rocks to look for Bear along with Fox. Turtle and Chipmunk rush to seek the missing bear up near the creek. And Mole hurries to catch up with Skunk, who peers behind an old tree trunk. They're just not finding bear. Where can he be? Hmm. Ladybug rides on Snake's long tail as they explore the curvy trail. Ant and Beetle search the weeds and Crow flies high above the reeds. The animals all gather round. Oh no, cries Snake, they're still not found. Turtle, Skunk, and Bunny shout, come out, Bear, come out, come out. Could Bear be hurt? Could Bear be sick? Or could this be an old bear trick? Mm -hmm. What do you think? There's one place left where Bear might be, but no one wants to look and see. It's cold and damp and dark as night. It fills the animals with fright. Who's feeling very brave? Who will go inside this cave? Ooh, it looks a little dark, doesn't it? 
Hmm, who's gonna go in? Well, Bunny says, we'll go as one. That's the way, it must be done. And look, they all came in. But hey, look over there. Who's that sleeping? Wake up now, you silly bear. Oh, there's Bear. He must have been asleep there the whole time. Well, that's not part of the game. Crow and Fox give Bear a hug. And here's a kiss, says Ladybug. There they are, they found them. And Bear shouts, who wants to play again? He shuts his eyes and counts to 10. One, two, three, four, and that sleepy bear begins to snore. Oh, bear, that's not part of the game. Oh, who would have thought that one of your playmates would fall asleep when they're trying to play hide and seek? Hmm. Well, now that we've seen so many different characters and creatures in our stories, I think Dan's going to tell us a little bit more about how to sign some of their names in American Sign Language. Hey guys, it's Dan. We've heard a few different stories today about forest animals playing hide and seek together in the woods. Bears and bunnies and foxes, even a few skunks and snakes. So I'm here today to teach you how to sign some of those words in American Sign Language. The first sign we're going to learn today is for bunny or rabbit, and you can sign that two different ways. In the first way, you take your pointer finger and your middle finger on both hands and put them together. Then turn your hands inward toward yourself so your palms are facing your body and cross your hands at the wrist. Then at the same time, bend both of those fingers inward toward yourself and that's bunny or rabbit. It's like your fingers are the long ears of a bunny. Bunny, rabbit. The next way to sign bunny or rabbit is to take your hands, make them flat, and then turn your hands inward toward yourself like this. Place your hands at the top of your head so it looks like you have two long bunny ears, and then bend your fingers inward. And that's bunny or rabbit. The next sign we're gonna to learn today is for bear. And you start out by taking your hands and making claws with them. Then cross your hands along your body at the top of your shoulders, and then scratch down the front of your chest like this. And that's bear, bear. The last sign we're gonna to learn today is for elephant, because in the next story, Rose reads a story about an elephant who wants to play hide and seek too. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but it sounds pretty hilarious. So, you start out by taking your hand and placing it in front of your nose. And you know how an elephant has a big long trunk? Well, that's what we're going to try to mimic today. We're going to take your hand and then arch it down in front of your body like it's the long trunk of an elephant. And that's elephant. Elephant. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to sign bunny, bear, and elephant in American Sign Language. Now back to Rose for our last story of the day. Well, our last story today is about an elephant who plays hide and seek. Do you, do you think an elephant is good at hide and seek? Hmm, maybe this one is. Or maybe he needs a few guidelines. Let's see. It's called the Elephant's Guide to Hide and Seek. Look, I'll be it. The game begins, dear elephant. But let us guess. You are the only pachyderm playing. When your fellow elephants have seen this before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You cannot resist the other players. You live for their little happy faces. You can't bear to disappoint them. Ready or not, here I come. But no matter how much you love your friends and how much you love this game, found you. Your struggle with this hide and seek remains enormous. 
Oh, poor elephant. Maybe you can have some guidelines. You are tired of always being the largest one in the room. Found you. You are frustrated with always being the first one found. Found you. You love your friends, but you really, really cannot figure out this game. Found you. Well, despair no more. We at the Elephant Hobby and Sport League are here to help. The Elephant Hobby and Sport League proudly presents the Elephant's Guide to Hide and Seek. Just follow our simple pattern and guidelines for hiding spaces and you will achieve hide and seek success. So what are you waiting for? Your friends are counting. It's time to get in the game. The guidelines are hiding behind cushions doesn't work for elephants. Instead, find a room where there's lots of furniture and add to the collection. Lumps in the bed are not really elephant shaped, but beds are elephant sized. So take full advantage of your ability to snooze while standing. Lucky sleeping. <laughs> Seek out large bathtubs with shower curtains and oversized tables with long linens and on sortly piles of laundry. They'll never see you then. But avoid china cabinets and toy closets littered with wheeled miniature vehicles. Oh, elephant. And most of all, avoid pantries overstocked with peanuts. Crunch, crunch. We elephants are especially loud, crunch, crunch, when it comes to peanuts. Think camouflage. Okay, there's the elephant. Oh, look, there's some glue, and there's some leaves, and there's trees all around. So why not become a tree? But Beware of overdoing it. Run, elephant, run! Only choose spaces that you can easily get out of. The bigger we elephants are, the harder we are to get unstuck. Oh, look, elephant hid in Frito's doghouse. I don't know if these friends can pull them out, but they're working together. Most of all, make use of your trunk's water feature. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, look, she didn't even see him. He's such a good water fountain. And if all else fails, bum, found you. Oh, they found him again. Volunteer to be it. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, look at that. When you're it, you can find the kids. Because, dear elephant, you love those kids. And if hiding isn't your thing, found you. Maybe it's not so bad to be found. Oh, look, they're all together at the end. And the elephant was able to be it and find them and all come together. Well, that's the end of the elephant's guide to hide and seek. Well, I hope you enjoyed our stories today and that you're able to play some hide and seek with friends. Maybe you'll be it, maybe you'll be hiding, but anyways, you'll have some fun. Until next time, see you then.